We use AI for so much, for writing emails, summarizing reports, and even recommending what we eat. But behind all that magic, there is something called an AI model. If you ever wonder what models like GPT-4, Claude, or Gemini actually do, and how to choose the right one, this video is for you. And if you're thinking about building your own AI tools like a smart assistant, a content generator, or a lead scoring app, I'll show you how platforms like Thrive can actually do that without writing a single line of code. Let's dive in. An AI model is like a digital brain, trains of ton of information. You ask it a question or give it a task, and it gives you a response. That could be a piece of writing, a summary, an image, code, anything. But not all AI models are the same. Each one has different strengths, weaknesses, and ideal uses. Let's say you are building something with AI, like a customer support bot or a tool to organize your sales lead. Do you want it to answer fast, handle long documents, be great at writing? Different goals call for different models. Start by asking, what do I need this AI to do? Does it need to be fast, accurate, or cost-effective? Am I working with private or sensitive data? Do I need deep reasoning or just a quick short answers? Once you're clear on what you need, choosing the right model becomes much easier. Let's take a look at some of the most widely used AI models today and what they are each designed to do. This will help you understand the range of capabilities out there and how different models are built with different goals in mind. GPT-4 by OpenAI, a general purpose model built for deep reasoning, writing, and complex tasks, often used for research, coding, or anything that needs accuracy and context. Cloud 3 by Anthropic. This is great for summarizing documents and maintaining a helpful balanced tone. Popular in customer support and document heavy use cases. Gemini 1.5 by Google, a multimodal model, meaning it can understand images, video, and text all at once, used in tools that combine visual and written inputs. Mistral by Mistral AI, open source, lightweight, and designed for speed and efficiency, often chosen for the smaller apps or when cost is a factor. DeepSeek by DeepSeek AI, designed for technical tasks like math and code. It's a good fit for tools that require logic, precision, and analysis. Grok by XAI, built for real-time responses using current web data. It's still evolving, but aim at use cases where up to the info is key. These are just a few examples of the most talked about models right now. Each one is optimized for different goals, so understanding what you need is key before picking one. There is a big difference between just using AI and actually integrating it into a tool or workflow. If you are building a software for your team or business, picking the right model is a big deal. Do you go with GPT-4, Claude, Mistral? Which one is faster, safer, cheaper? That's where Glide comes in. Glide automatically selects the best model for your use case, whether it's summarizing text, classifying data, or generating content, and connect you to the enterprise-grade version that's fast, secure, and your data is never used for training. Once the model is set, you can build apps that put the AI power directly in your users' hands, whether it's internal teams or customers. Now, this means smart inputs, AI-assisted workflows, or dynamic features, all inside your own custom software, no code required. So to recap, AI models are the brains behind most modern tools. Each one has unique strengths, pick based on what you need. And if you want to build with AI without being a developer, Glide makes it possible. Does this help? Hit the like and subscribe for more videos about AI, automation, and building smart businesses. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I'll read them all. I'll see you in the next one.